Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. Uh, there are a couple of things, maybe, okay. There are a couple of things going in my head. <laughs> you need to help me out with that. Or maybe too many things. Uh, I'm trying to expand my business mm -hmm. in terms of getting more clients, but there's a blockage, which is there. I don't know. I call it as a block or a resistance in terms okay. is, will I be able to handle them? Will I be able to keep them satisfied and keep them happy? Okay. That is the thing which comes like, uh, before coming to Canada, I was at a very senior level and handling multiple clients. Mm -hmm. But once I've stepped in, I'm trying to, you know, build that same model, but uh, there is a resistance or there is that fear of failure yeah. and everything which is there. So, so other than not being in Canada, what was the difference between the old place where you were able to handle the clients and this new business? Uh, so I come from India mm -hmm. in uh, so was working at a very senior level. That means, you know, handling multiple clients, um, purely IT, I would call it as. Mm -hmm. So I believe you get related to IT as well. And uh, once I came here, I was not break into the same level what I wanted to do. So I started something as a contractor and starting to build some multiple clients at the same time, but I haven't been able to break through through that. Okay. So is everything harder because you're in Canada? Uh, I don't think it, IT is IT anywhere else in the world. So it doesn't matter the geographical location, right? It technically it shouldn't, but that doesn't mm. mean your beliefs match that. Oh, okay. Okay. That's nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. So is everything harder because you're in Canada? Uh, maybe I think that might be one of the answers. Yeah. I, yeah. it's, it's the, uh, how do I put it? The, con the network that I had earlier mm -hmm. was far reachable than the network, which I have right now. So maybe okay. that's what one thing I feel that, or maybe I don't have the right resources working with me. Okay. That's why I feel that, okay, I'm not able to reach out to more clients or the way I want to expand the business. Okay. And um, this, this is, Interesting because there's a truth on that, but then there's also the beliefs because it's a different network now. Hmm. But if you, you get caught in the story of, well, my network doesn't have the reach and the power than it did when I was in India, you can get caught up in that story and therefore you won't let that network have the same reach because that's the story you're in now. So are you willing to step out of the story that your network doesn't have the reach or the power it had before? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. And are you willing to step out of the story that everything is harder now that you've moved to Canada? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the, the other thing you talked about was letting your clients down, making sure you still have the same value. When you had multiple clients before, did you ever have a problem where you didn't give enough value? No, never. So what's different now? Geographical location. That's okay. what I feel. Okay. So it doesn't, this is interesting because it doesn't even feel like it's your story. Who Whose story is it that it's going to be harder to satisfy people here in Canada. No, it's, it's my, 
maybe it's there in my thought like this is what i feel yeah that it might be difficult because again i said i had a network i had people working here i don't have people working with me okay so that is the difficult level which i've seen okay so without that network you won't be able to satisfy your clients that's your story yes i think so yeah okay so you need to be in a space where you know you can give value to your clients and the clients are going to appreciate that value and that's going to cause your business to grow which means you can put in more resources and then give them more value but if you if you're what you've done is you've created the situation that i don't have the resources to give the value but i can't get the clients which will make me afford the resources to give the value so you're just trapped in this limbo place yes so are you willing to step out of the story that you can't give you the value you gave until you get the resources in place yes <laughs> Okay, how does that feel? Better, worse, the same or different? I feel that that fear which I had is going out like I have that shivers in my body so that you know it's like reacting. That fear is coming out or going away. I don't know it's going away for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's right. still there. Yeah, that that shiver is still there. Okay. So just let that keep going. Okay. Good. All right, thank you for playing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.